afternoon, good evening, whatever time of the day it is for you. Welcome to the Wealthy Lala Show with myself, Lori Larson. Episode 218, people. <laughs> How's your hump day? <laughs> ah, so we're going to do our mini reading day today. And the cards that wanted to uh, come play are called the, the Find Your Happy Daily Mantra Deck by Shannon Kayser. So, our Kaiser, Kayser, however. Anyways, three cards. I got three cards, people. I got left, middle, right. Okay. Or one, two, three, whichever, however you want to look at it. And so, um, yeah, just tap in. Uh, what message does the universe have for you today? What message do you require to know? What would create the greatest for you to know? And um, yeah, and again, as usual, take a nice big breath in. Hmm. And blow it out. And if you have a specific question that comes to mind, you know, about work, your body, relationship, kids, family, spouse, partner, you know, friendship, whatever, um, you know, and uh, you desire to know something about that, you ask the question. All right. So again, I have three cards in front of me. One, two, three, or left, middle, and right. So I'm going to start with the left one. The left one, uh, just trying to see here which card wants to talk to me. It looks kind of like the middle one for me. Hmm. It's going to turn. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Could be left and middle. Might be two today for me. I mean, that's what I'm getting. All right. So the first card, my dreams are the signature to my potential. Hmm. Well, that seems like a big ask. <laughs> do, do you get that? <laughs> Your dreams matter and so do you. You have inspiration that comes to you daily, but you may be ignoring it. Hmm. I'm sure none of you have ever done that. Not me either. Mm -mm. Instead of worrying about how or when it can happen, focus on taking clear steps to make it happen. You're in charge of your own life and the outcome is in your own hands. This is empowering because whatever you think and believe you can achieve. You want more abundance? Focus on feeling abundant. If you want to find your soulmate, focus on giving yourself the love you so desire. Everything you want is on its way to you, but it can't come to you if you aren't taking action on your dreams daily. Commit daily to your dreams for they are sig signatures to your potential. Hmm. And here's a question it has. What is something I've always wanted to do, but I haven't given myself permission to do? Hmm. I love that. And you know, just so you guys know that if you find that this, these things seem like they're too big for you, like a question like that is too big or to really allow yourself to start ch taking steps towards something you actually desire. And remember, you know, this could be taking a trip. It could be, you know, um, gosh, it can be taking a class. It could be going to a movie with a friend. It could be asking somebody out. It could be looking at possibly a new job. It, you know, it, it doesn't always have to be like a setting up a business kind of thing, right? So, yeah. Um, but anyways, what I was going to say about that is that if you find yourself having a lot of stuckness and hesitation about choosing that, you know, this is where it's really great to use things like EFT tapping, EMDR, uh, meditation, journaling, you know, uh, going for a walk in the nature, in nature, you know, allow yourself to be open to what you need to hear to help you move forward. And I remember one time, quite a few years ago, I went to a class and uh, they would say, you know, go find an object in the room, you know, it could be a wall, could be a glass, could be a blanket, whatever, and ask the object what advice it has for you. And this might seem really ridiculous, like who would think a glass or a blanket would talk to you? But you actually will receive messages. So, 
Yeah. Hmm. I wonder what's possible for you guys who got card number one or the left card. Okay. Number two, the middle card. I honor my body's needs. Oh, interesting. So no wonder I got these two first two cards. Huh. Yeah. You know, yesterday uh, I gotten a new meditation through Dr. Joe Dispenza and whole it it was one of the most spacious magical meditations I've ever done um yeah it was pretty awesome it gave me so much possibility that even more is possible and I'm not gonna lie I, I did what I think I called kind of napped during it too, <laughs> because, you know, the, it goes through the, this is one of his blessings of the energy centers meditations. And, you know, I'd be, I was at one blessing, you know, energy center one, then I was at energy center two, the next thing you know, I'm at energy center five. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, what happened to the other ones in between? Yet the energy that was flowing through my body and the space that I was in was like I was in a different reality in a way that I was like, hey, that's okay. I'm going to just keep going and let this puppy finish the way it finishes. And I'm just, gonna, you know, I'm just so grateful. So it was really fun because actually, actually, I, after I did that meditation, I usually do it in the basement in this one room. I came upstairs and if you guys go online on YouTube, Dr. Joe Dispenza, and it's a heart coherence, a project coherence meditation. You can actually watch it. And it's about bringing in, you know, love to the earth and being grateful for the earth. And I came and did that after. It was so beautiful. Wow. I know. I like threw in like, 40 or almost two hours of meditation yesterday. It was pretty crazy. Okay. So anyways, card number 28, I honor my body's needs. All right. And the reason why it made me think of meditation was because I was actually really aware that, that that meditation that I chose yesterday was really what my body needed. So, so we live in a very fast paced world and it's easy to forget about self care. As a result, your body becomes neglected, leading to your spirit feeling neglected as well. Now, isn't that interesting, you guys? When we neglect our body, it's actually like saying no to us, neglecting our own spirit. Oh, hmm. This is a reminder that your body is a vessel for growth and self-reflection. When you listen to its wisdom, you will feel calmer. Your body has needs as well. Take time to honor your body by treating it with kindness and love, sending loving thoughts to it instead of blame and critical energy. Treat it to a massage or luxurious bath. Spend time moving your body and giving it exercise. Your body creates movement and energy flow. When you exercise, you honor your body's deepest desires. And you know, I'm really getting to... Um, throw like throwing in a bit or a whole ton of self-love and you know standing in a mirror and touching your body and just being open to you know maybe I don't feel really entirely loving about my body right now but I wonder what that would feel like you know I've you know and then throwing the Kylego even in there or just thoughts that you desire to think so that you start to feel lighter about the body and this vessel that you're living in this life in. And, you know, I may not be the exact size that I desire right now, but you know, the funny thing is, is that 10 years ago when I thought I was heavy, um, I'm heavier now than I was before. I wonder if I could just appreciate where I'm at now, just like I could have appreciated where I was at then. And like, oh gosh, because you know, I noticed and I could have been picking up on a lot of people too. When I went to go dress up for my daughter's uh, baby shower on Sunday, you know, all of a sudden it, it come rushing in that it was like, oh, this doesn't fit right. And all this isn't quite comfortable. And I want something new and I, this and that and whatever. Well, the funny, I never had any intuitive hits to get something different. 
prior to the shower. And then all of a sudden, just before the shower, I've, I load in all this self judgment, wishing I had something different, wishing my body was different, wishing blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I stepped back and I looked at that and I thought, you know, this actually isn't creating and this doesn't create the future that I desire to have. And what I loved is that I stood back and I went, okay, what's the energy I desire to feel today in my body, in my clothes? And it's like, well, I'd like to feel comfortable and pretty and, you know, kind of flowy like. And it was interesting. Then the next thing you know, I was really able to be aware of what my body wanted to wear, what would be comfortable for me. And then because I was so busy, what would be ease to be as busy with that day in it. And it turned out just, just lovely, just, just lovely people. So anyways, gosh, excuse me. It's like terrible. I'm just like, my body's burping. Ah, okay. So anyways, card number three, ding, 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 ding. Instead of, oh, instead of focusing on the anger, I focus on healing the pain. So that's card number three. That's the right one. Ah, yes. So this is number 46. Let's see what this one is. I didn't get this card. Not for me. And there are times when the person who is hurting you the most is yourself. Interesting. And you may not even realize it. You may be mad at a situation or person who has caused you emotional angst and you're having a hard time letting go of that anger. It's hard to understand why you would allow such a negative emotion to consume you, but don't beat yourself up over it. Sometimes, isn't it incredible side note, self-judgment, holy mackerel, we are brutal with ourselves with it even more than we even realize, you know, it's, it's like a fish who's in water. That water could be self-judgment and you're so used to being in self-judgment that you don't even realize you're in self-judgment. So yeah, I can so recognize how those things have been encumbered for myself. Ah, it may be difficult to face the current reality, but know your feelings are being honest with you. Your feelings are an emotional guidance system that help you from right from wrong. Your current situation is resolved when you listen to your gut. Don't second guess yourself or your emotions. If you feel conflicted, go to your heart and ask what you should do. You'll receive loving guidance, guidance to help you move forward. And then the question for that card is, what are my feelings trying to tell me? So, because everything is information. Like, you know, even if something has been told, like even if you're aware the thought isn't yours or you've heard things like who does it belong to and return it to sender and stuff like that. What I discovered for me is that those thoughts may not have originally been mine. No, I, absolutely. I totally, totally, totally agree with that. And I'm functioning from them. That's the part that I want to clean up. That's the part I want to acknowledge. So I want to, you know, what is this, this anger for me? And this is where, again, like going back to those tools of, you know, e using EMDR, EFT, meditation, going for a walk, moving your body, dancing it out, pounding a pillow, you know, whatever it is for you, allow yourself to really, truly honor and express where you are at and uh, allow it to dissipate and release. Yeah, be kind to you and really allow it to dissipate and release. <sighs> so I don't think I read the question for the second one. So I just want to read them for all three again. Let me just find this one. Oh, okay. So 55. So the first one was... What? Okay. So with the first card, my dreams are the signature to my potential. You know, what are those things that keep popping to you? So what is something I've always wanted to do, but haven't given myself permission to do? Mm, and is now the time. So the card number two, I honor my body's needs. Now the question is, what is my body craving? Oh, and it's interesting. Uh, there's also a, like an affirmation. My body is a vessel for love. I respect my body by honoring its needs. I move my body with exercise daily. 
I listen to the wisdom within. My body has protected me, grown with me, and allowed me to be present on earth. I show up fully in my life by treating my body as a friend and guide. How awesome is that, hey? Okay, and then let's just go to this um, third card again. So instead of focusing on the anger, I focus on healing the pain. And the question is, what painful situation or person has made me angry and how can I focus on healing the pain? And here's a beautiful, like, like the affirmation or something you can, prayer you can say to yourself. I release the pain that I'm holding into my, in my heart. I let go of the anger because I know that it is no longer serving me. My internal angst is a reflection of unhealed wounds that need more love and focus as i seek inwards to take comfort in my pain as i move through my f emotional frustration i can see that anger is no longer needed i forgive all involved and instead focus all my energy on healing the pain ah yummy okay you guys hope you have a wonderful day uh, thanks again for tuning in. If you if it's light and fun for you guys, please share my podcast. I would be so grateful. And uh, yeah, take care till tomorrow.